the people who bring in these laws are the same people who flew off to sunny destinations over Christmas. 14 months into the pandemic, police in Alberta are enforcing public health measures, making arrests and shutting down protests of those blatantly breaking the laws. But why now? Why is it only now? Because they have ignored the law themselves. Criminologist at Mount Royal University Kelly Sunberg says this government has a large portion of members who oppose restrictions and have even ignored rules themselves. And that delay may have a negative effect. It's too little too late. They need to stand up and show good leadership. They need to lead by example and they haven't done that. The RCMP making arrests at a protest in Mir, Alberta Sunday. A day earlier, two church leaders who have held gatherings and led anti-restriction protests for months were arrested by the Calgary police. It was performative. Kurt Phillips with the Canadian Anti-Hate Network says these people who are leading rallies that often welcome white nationalist beliefs may use the arrests to their advantage. He actually says, uh, is the camera rolling? It's rolling. So they were ready for this. They were they were ready to create some drama because they know it'll be good for um, to gain further support from their, from, from their supporters. That's why he says not giving these people too much publicity or name recognition is important. But ultimately, he says the government tried to balance a voter base with a public health crisis for too long. A lot of these are people who, who voted for the government. Uh, not all of them, but many of them voted for this government. Um, they are sort of the base of the UCP. Um, and I don't think the government wanted to be in a position where they had to, uh, I guess, police their base. In Calgary, Taylor Broad, City News.